Hey, what's up? St. Cross here. So, it's been a while. I have been busy with real life. And, honestly, I've been testing out a few games every now and then. I've quit the uh, last game that I played, Crown Four Kingdoms, because it was just broken. Um, the time, from the time that they introduced the, um, you know, the war. Um, it was all one-sided. And... It's been quite a while, really. There's this pandemic now that's going on, um, and I've been busy with my work. Um, I've had the opportunity to work um, from home, and that's been keeping me alive uh, for this past couple of uh, you know uh, years. So, what is Gaia Odyssey? Then, if you know me from my previous videos, it's it's you know I have this knack to I mean, it it it's a game. Um, a gotcha game and I know some of you guys are going to be shaking your heads by now and you're right it's it does have its own niche group of uh, demographic it targets uh, a pretty uh, specific group of people so it's not going to be for everybody um, I also had like this you know this impression of a gotcha game like you know it's a waste of money it's a waste of time it's heavily geared towards um, you know towards paid paying players um, but yeah so far I've played with uh, people on my server for three weeks straight and they are apparently having a great time in spite of not spending um, on this game so yeah there's definitely um, you know a difference between uh, the pay paying experience and the free to play experience I'll tell you that, but it's definitely not something that's going to come in the way of you enjoying the game. Um, so this is the new, a new character screen, and we've got three classes. The usual, I wouldn't really pay too much attention on this because the differences are very, very nuanced. Um, even though they've got this chart here showing the specializations, um, Cannoneer seems to be more geared towards attack. Berserker I mean, is towards defense and Lancer as a well balanced um, you know character. So we're gonna go ahead and try attack and I really want to um, demo uh, how fast it is to get into this game. So first let's try finding a name. Maybe that's not taken. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So the game's gonna just launch you into like a tier ad of um, stuff, and <clears throat> basically what you want to do in these first 15 minutes of the game is just to try and keep on clicking on next because it, what it's doing is if you're um, if you're already familiar with gacha games, it's walking you through different um, you know the different mechanics. So this one we just go with 2.5 start. And then you're already um, prompted if you want to do it automatically or manual. I would say go go with automatic. Again, that's one check mark for a, a gotcha game. You've got these cool stuff coming in, and you've got auto mode. Um, well, now what what uh, prompted me to continue? All right, so those are the skills to continue playing this game in spite of it checking all those gotcha uh, like features and again I say it because it it does appeal to me um, because I'm a gamer who likes min maxing stats and this is all about you know configuring and tweaking and all of that good stuff so you don't really have to pay attention to the storyline <laughs> unfortunately that is another feature of gotcha games like you know the storyline's weak. It's not enough to, um, yeah, to invest your, uh, to get emotionally invested in. So this is a new function, sweet dating at level 75. Um, not really a thing, you know, to look forward to. But at this point in the game, it's just too early. So you can see the interface is pretty clean, right? Um, in a few minutes, we'll see this area really just get flooded with stuff. 
and icons and I'll go through those icons in a series of videos Make sense of it all um, so there's another skill you get four five six skills in total um, there's this skill and then these four skills over here for the class and then there's going to be two additional skills which is I think a heal and another additional offensive which is going to come up right between this chat box right here where my mouse is and this first skill so as you can see we're already level 15 and if you think you're already tough enough that's not it you can actually go get up all the way up to a hundred if you're really fast in clicking the um, you know the the next buttons the icons and if you're worried about missing some stuff don't worry because it's something that I'm gonna walk you through anyway all right so this part this is the partner system all it does is really is just an add sense a sidekick to you um, so you can see that little that girl right there and that's also something that you can get during events um, uh, for free even and that's another perspective video that I'm going to come up with even though I don't have that much of an experience with the game but I think I'm already at that point where I you know it um, I understand most of them in this server uh, this is server 211 it doesn't have all of the features unlocked um, meaning it you know there's a certain window of time up oh, there's the first um, there's the first real turn off like it suddenly wants you to try and top up you know you see this a lot like in in um in some you know most top up games you you're prompted to top up any amount and that's just really the the bait you know that gets you hooked once you start spending you get ready for spend, get ready for spending for more um in the days to come so here's a new skill again. I'm already almost complete. So this is level 38. We're already level 28. We're going through um, this quite. So yeah, just get that. We're going through this. We're going to really blaze through this. And I'm not even paying attention to the text. I'm just clicking on complete. So here, all right. So this one is your mount. Swipe up to mount, or just click this button here. Oops. Just click this horse icon right here, and you're gonna dismount. What does it do if you mount or dismount? It doesn't do anything. It's just um. It. <clears throat> Feature-wise, yeah, does I, I guess it makes you travel faster. <clears throat> but you know, in the first few days of this, you are actually you know given a unlimited um, amount of teleports. So that's why it would make sense to try and cover as much ground, as many quests as you can, if you're a free-to-play player, because that feature disappears after a set amount of days. All right, so here's another trial, um, the XP Guardian level 41, that's coming soon. All right, and then of course you've got this level up system, which you you'll eventually get all of them without any problems. All right, as long as you do your daily quests um, and you do them wisely, uh, then yeah, you know, there's not really a wall. I don't know why some players kind of tell you, like uh, in the Reddit forums or in the rev uh, Google Place review page, that there's a, a paywall. Um, really, there isn't, because there are a few, quite a few actually, um, players on the older servers, because there's a cross-server war, um, who are free to play who are stronger than my paid account because of the fact that they've been around for you know much longer and if I wanted to catch up with that I would either have to like outlive their character meaning wait for them to quit or um, I would have to like top up you know some get some assistance from topping up which is not really a th great way of spending your money um, especially if you're catching 
catch at the old server. Catching up with players on a, on your own servers is is, is I guess it's it's okay. I kind of did that, um, but if you want to catch up with people from older servers, be be ready to spend a lot of of cash, real game, you know, real cash. So here's the XP keeper. Notice how we are already at 42. You want to gear that gives a 50% boost to your experience um, that you get from mob, you know, from killing mobs and from doing the um, XP dungeon daily. So daily you do get like three, uh, two tries if you're free to play. So first off up again, here's another, um, another advertisement. And that can be like the one dollar or the ninety-nine cent top up, and you'll get all of that. Which you know, in playing like these games, um, if you're gonna test it out, I mean, I don't see any harm in trying. You know, just go here, purchase this ninety-nine cent um, deal, and you're you know that's gonna increase the um, the experience a little bit more. So Gaia Arcane is now unlocked, and that is this book that kind of gives you like a it's also a guide you know it's not something that's going to persist throughout the game like you have to be um, completing these books um, eventually you will get that book um, completed and you can then forget about it what it does is it gives you like these special passive skills um, at, you know um, at the same time as it as guiding you through the game on you know with its different features Right, so if these are all dungeons. This is the investment plan, um, and all that good stuff. I guess we can cover that as well in a different um, in a different video. So um, what happened now is that I kind of clicked on something by mistake, and now it's lost track of what it wants to do. Don't worry when that happens. Just click on this arrow right here, and double click on that main, and then it's just going to find its way back. Right. So yeah, quests are as simple as just clicking that tab, finding your way back to that tab, making sure it's, you know, you do everything that you need to do. Um, because you do get some free stuff by completing, you know, by reading, by reaching a certain um, quest point in the game. Let's see, you unlocks different, um, different features, right? So yeah, this is going to be your quest tab right here. You can expand that and collapse as soon as well. You can also collapse that if it gets in the way. Um, this one you can expand. Right. Benefits. See how it's getting really cluttered really fast. All right, so check in. Benefits, you've got that going on. I'll discuss a little bit more about that later. Um, in the meantime, I'm just clicking all the buttons that appear automatically on my screen. Right, what was I saying a while ago? Yeah, this button right here, it expands and collapses this chat window. Um, right, so if we go to the, uh, what are the currencies that, let's, let's collapse that. There are quite a few different currencies in the game that also get unlocked as uh, as you progress and the way that this progresses is in a couple of ways um, it's also you know it, the game tracks your personal progression through the game meaning it unlocks features as you level up so for example that guild feature now just unlock for me and I do have a you what does have? Okay, so I just joined the guild, a guild that I didn't want to join. Um, let's go back. Yeah, let's leave that. There isn't a cooldown like in other games. You can quit a guild and then join another one right away, which is pretty weird because that means like you can you can just you know troll a random guild if their guild setting is set to a, you know, accept everybody but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and apply for it uh, all right let's apply for this one okay 
so where was I I was saying up telling you about like the different um, currencies there got there are two main currencies in the game obviously the one that that you need to purchase um, stuff for real money that is the non bound diamonds right here right that's I call them real diamonds and then you've also got this um, let me just complete that you've also got the bound diamonds okay so what's this about you can enjoy 99 privileges so here's what I was talking about um, this is the VIP trial it unlocks all of these stuff free teleports mounts XP boosts right it gives you <clears throat> A little bit over over a day or 24 hours so try to make the most out of that if you're going to be free to play now moving back to the uh, discussion about currency so <clears throat> premium currency is non-bound diamonds and bound diamonds so for example if you purchase like 660 diamonds you also get 660 bound diamonds for the first time you purchase that package um, how do, else do you get bound diamonds throughout the game you get them through events you get them um, <clears throat> by completing um, treasure, you know, treasure maps. Um, what else? You can get them through um, rankings, um, which is going to be there's there's a ton of things to rank in in this game, and we'll be going through them uh, in separate videos because like the amount of content really is. Um, overwhelming if we go through them we might end up with like a five hour long video <laughs> so what's going on here I'm staying in one place there's probably a kill oh no so I am already at my limit so it says I need to be level 67 I'm level 66 if that's the case you can just go on and do the daily quests and that's gonna level you up um, also also if you have the XP dungeons unlocked then you can also use that to level up really, really fast. Anyway, so we just want to go blaze through this real quick. Um, I mentioned, I talked about these non-bound and bound diamonds. Um, gold is something that you get in the game naturally by cl by clearing dungeons, by defeating mobs. Um, there is a daily dungeon for gold that is available as well and gold is primarily just used for upgrading gears and with a couple of other stuff on the side but it's not something big like it's it's really not a big deal um, I think over here you can purchase um, no that was I was thinking of a different thing but yeah if you want to upgrade your gear Gold's what gold is what you use. Um, bound diamonds can only be used to purchase certain things, and real diamonds, um, the premium, the real premium ones you get from topping up, can be used to purchase stuff from the marketplace. And uh, uh, it basically, you can purchase a whole, a wider range of items. Um, like for example this this pack right here so and again th which makes this game a little bit unique because you this just means that you literally don't you can get away with not spending a single uh, dollar on the game um, by using by earning those pink diamonds you see how those icons the icons ha looks like it has a blue and a pink diamond the pink diamond is something that you earn from by selling stuff in the marketplace so let's say if you get lucky for example this this one here you got the orange armor um, and if you're in a new server and you're you're really you know you're really up there in the upper ranks of the the player base and have access to the higher levels before everybody else um, there's a chance that you might even make it all the way up to VIP 4. I know quite a few people who have reached VIP 4 um, status without spending anything. 
just using their wits. All right, um, let's go through something while we're doing this. You see how there is like your up here on the top left. This is your character avatar area, and these two swords are your combat power or CP. Mine is at fifty thousand. Um, other older servers can go all the way up to two hundred million. Um, the longer, you know, the older the player is, or the more money they spend, the higher that value is going to go. And the way each, everything that you can put on your your character increases your CP. Everything that you can add on to an add-on, yeah, add-ons have add-ons. Like for example, like the um, like the baby, the baby hat is in itself is already an add-on. So that baby system, it you can also equip the baby with its own gear, its own mount, its own wings, um, and all of those are you know you can acquire in the game. Um, without spending any money, I'll be a bit slower than than the VIP player, but yeah. So the number of systems in this game is really really overwhelming. I remember when I first started playing, I was just doing I was just doing this really. I just kind kind of gave up um, trying to study it at the beginning because I wanted to make make you know real good use about with that. Uh, VIP trial so I didn't want to waste um, time I just wanted to complete as much quest because the teleport is re something that really saves a lot of time um, yeah so we'll just um, to go through this recap keep on clicking on the buttons that move you forward and then when you're doing stuff like this like you're doing a kill quest then you can click on the uh, things that have red dots in them. I know it kind of sounds stupid at this point, but trust me, these things will, you know, you'll eventually run out. You'll get to a point where you'll run out of stuff to click on. <laughs> and you'll you'll then, um, this is like mid-game. Um, it, it's like you're, you're now just focused on developing your characters and doing your dailies, um, participating in, 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 guild events in PvP um, and all that good stuff. One thing that does make this game a little bit different from the rest of the gacha games that I've played before is that there is no stamina or energy. You know that that um, iconic uh, lightning icon. Right? Um, that's redundant. But yeah, you, you're literally free to do whatever it is that you want to do on the, in the game until you've run out of stuff. Like, for example, daily quests, you can only do 20 of those. Um, because if there wasn't a limit, then you'd just level up indefinitely, right? Um, you've got the daily dungeons, which are the XP dungeon, the couples dungeon the treasure dungeon, the spirit, uh, the partner dungeon, that's all right here. Um, it's all going to, you know, this is going to uh, populate some other tabs as we go along. So here we've got the teen dungeons, which gives you the um, XP and the gear. And then you're when you unlock it, you're, you're also going to get a couple dungeon and then temple, temple defense which gives you access to artifacts, which is then also a part of the artifact system. Um, not yet unlocked at this point in the game since I'm, guess what, I'm already level 105. Does that make me pro? No, it doesn't. You're just barely scraping the, uh, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. All right, so there's this, this green, uh, this red dot that's been staring me in the face. You see this seven day login? That's like good leverage right there. You get these things for free. Um, day one, you got like this times two XP, which I think we should get. Let's get that, you know? Let's get that. And you can check the buffs that are active by clicking right here on the top left. So I only have the VIP exclusive enhanced, but um, we can use the uh, times two buff 
Now remember what, what I said, like play smart. Um, we don't want to really use it like right now because I'm still actively in the game doing quests. So any time <clears throat> I'm not not kill mobs, and if I use my XP buff, then I'm not really earning any bonus XP, right? So what I would do is once I'm done with everything, um, then I would do two things. You know, th and I do this right um, before going into the team dungeon, which is the XP dungeon. This right before I enter this, I'll make. Sh I need to make sure that I'm not going to be doing anything else after the XP dungeon. I'm not going to hang around. I'm not going to do PvP. I'm just going to log off. That's all that I'm going to do. Uh, so basically, I usually put the XP dungeon at the last of everything because I want to make the most out of the times two dungeon. All right. So here I am clicking, you know, killing mobs indefinitely. Definitely not something that I'm supposed to be doing because I'm already done with the dailies. But notice how my main quest has already activated. I can now resume the main quest. So yeah, going back to that, um, the uh, two times XP. All right. Try do this um, right before you you're gonna go into the XP dungeon. Now can the, you might have noticed that okay so what's this the bead dungeon so this is this gives you access to the bead system um, and this goes all the way up to I think oh never mind it just went in so this bead dungeon is really just a one versus one PVE mode you you fight bosses head to head and the higher you you know as you progress through the levels you get beads I don't think it resets as far as I know um, but beads once you get a you know access to these beads it's another way of enhancing your power your combat power remember everything you can put on your character so here is the bead hunt function it goes right there now this is the bead system um, you, you know that you can put something into something in this game if it, there's like that red dot and if I click on the plus I can put that in so there's like eight slots here um, quick description of this just put in as the better quality of of that you know the, that bead as you get them and again I want to go through that now because what I want to show you guys is how you can jumpstart your gaming experience. All right. So let's go back to the, you know, let's go back to, oops, let's go back to that times two potion and that I wanted to show you guys something. Curio, another system, right? So you can see that. Curio is part of the uh, treasure system, so it is a subsystem, um, a subcategory of a system. It's basically part of the treasure system, and the treasure system has like the curio, the uh, the wings. Um, what was the other one? I forget. And the arms. So the curio, the wings, and the arms. These are all your treasure systems don't worry about this this is another thing that you that comes into play later on it's the godhood system so another way to enhance your stats but for now just want to keep on clicking on, clicking on complete so we've unlocked another dungeon it says and all right so now it's telling me telling us to auto match uh, unfortunately that you can quit that because I don't really want to go in there, you know, since this is going to be, we, we want to level up as much as we can naturally before going into the, into the, into the XP dungeon. You know what I mean? So when do we actually go in there? It's basically when this stops, you know, when you, 
literally can't do anything else like the, the you're stuck until you actually level up then you go into the you've done your daily quest you've done your guild quest and that's when you that's when you um you would use the xp dungeon all right so i wonder where did it bring me this time probably notice a banner over here which says boss that is again a one to one versus one battle uh, but unlike the other one which is in the tower this one other people can step in mean, meaning other people can kill you um, while you're <laughs> while you're hacking away at a boss and this is a public map which uh, everybody has access to and it gives better rewards. All right, so I got a grade three single star armor and cap. I, that's another system like gears. I would lo love to explain that now, but it it requires it needs its own video. All right. So see how we're teleporting around? That's that VIP trial. That's how useful it is. And you know what? I think I may have said for more than a day, but it's actually just minutes. So, <laughs> so we really want to get through as much as we can, because the rest of the quest will need to uh, will need to travel, slow travel. Not a big deal, but it does save time. Um, I think this video is already already almost 30 minutes long. I don't know. Uh, where are we? So yeah, if you need to switch between the battle interface, press this button right here. And then if you want to access the different systems, press it again. So let's go ahead and get out of this. Boss Ruins, unlock at level 90. We already did that. Ooh, what's this shiny thing? All right, this is a passive skill, I think. <laughs> we'll not, we'll find out. We'll find out. There's a way to actually check your passive skills in the game. Uh, Godhood, the Godhood system, right? So now we're got this activated. You you basically advance through the Godhood system as you go along, as these certain conditions are reached, like character level, the CP. Um, the B dungeon. There's a, quite a few other cat categories that you need to um, you know, pay. You, know, you need to meet, and those things that you need are called. You know, in order to upgrade your godhood, uh, are called premium godhood items. So where are we now? Okay, solo dungeon. Yeah, sure. Um, we can do that. Why not? And the the solo dungeon that we entered is for the partner. Yeah, this is. I think this is the partner. Dungeon. So here we get, um, I think spirit sh shards in order that you need to enhance your partner. These things right here. Well, they're gems. The primary advanced gem has 10 XP to that to that partner. Um, so far, we seem to be pretty, doing pretty good. Now, all it's going to do is just take those. See how it's getting bound diamonds as well. So, a nice way to earn some stuff. Okay. Bound diamonds. Primary shards. Um, that's for devouring. I guess I can explain devouring. So we get that gift pack complete. Um, as you mob games in real time, you you might you might get like gear, and some gear that you don't need, like those with the arrow downs. That means that they're weaker than what you've got equipped. You can devour them. Basically, what it does is it destroys them, 
and then it it feeds your sheep's um, satiety. I don't know how you say that. Basically, your sheep's hungry, and it, it, it makes them less hungry. Um, so they're all automatically checked. You don't have to worry about um, about checking something that's that's really important. Okay, some marketing tactics again. Um, just click on Devar. If you click on something that's rare by mistake, it's going to tell you. Like anything that's two stars or three stars, it's going to give you a warning. So we're now in the gear dungeon. This is different from the partner dungeon that we th that that was in the solo part. This is a team part where you play with other members, um, other players, and it's not hard. It's not hard at all. All you just have to do is just auto this, and then it's gonna go into. Um, I think it's like less than three minutes. happens if like for example you get stuck like your character's not moving then just click this button right here if there's no glow around it then that means you you're not on auto mode um so it's not going to move but if it's all if it's clicked then it, it just moves throughout you don't have to you know you can do something else while you're doing this in fact you can go into the different areas of this do a little bit of exploring but uh try not to take too long in a ui because yeah, this is over real quick. We started at 10 minutes. We're at we're at the nine one minute mark, and we're ready at the final boss. That's how easy it is. Um, you can get some nice gear here. Uh, it's a pretty low drop rate, but you know you can just get. This is the easiest place you can get some good stuff. So see how you got that. That's now that's rare because it's two stars. Um, and I just wanted to show you what happens if you try to devour a two-star gear. All right, red, yeah, it's rare, but uh, this serves its own explanation in a different video. So I'm going back to the, I'm going to devour stuff. So I'm just going to devour the st things that it selected by default. But if I click on this, it says it's rare. So there's and then if you still end up deleting the that that piece of equipment in spite of that warning then i guess you deserve it for not paying attention so let's go ahead and click on yeah i can i can definitely put that on oh i can't all right well that sucks anyway now what happens if you pick up something that's not for you don't throw it away you can either a sell it on the trading house or B, use it to fuse um, five different gears or three different gears <clears throat> into something that you need. <clears throat> and it's going to end up as a higher tier as well. So if you start out with two you know, orange uh, and three or five orange gears that are two stars and you fuse them together, um, it becomes a gear for your class. And then it becomes a two-star red gear, which is way stronger. So yeah, if you get something that doesn't belong to your class, don't throw it away. As long as it's two stars and above, two stars or three stars, keep it. One stars, feel free to go ahead and devour that, destroy it, or equip it if it makes your character stronger for the time being. But your goal should always be to, um, you know, your goal should always be to. Increase your CP. That's it. All right. So we are now at level 123. Seven minutes on the left in our VIP trial time. Ah, uh, that's bad. You know what? I think we should have. We we could have. Um, okay. Wait. Where are we now? Okay. We're in the arena. This is the PVP mode. Arena. Not really a big deal if you lose to somebody, you just gain half the experience points for that battle. You get half the glory points for that battle. If you win, you get full glory points, which is okay, but it's not a big deal, like I said. So I got 17 million. Um, I think that's 1,000, 1,791,000. I don't know. But if I won, I, I would get double. And, and then glory points as well. So... Every day you can get 
a number of glory points according to your rank. The higher your rank, the more glory you get. And then you can spend that in the glory shop where you can buy some bound diamonds, 30 per day. You can also purchase this premium godhood, which is used to upgrade your godhood. Or you can purchase uh, XP dungeon entry tickets. Or you can purchase the 1.5 XP potions. That's basically it. Then the bound diamonds, this is where you spend those diamonds with the lock icon. Um, you can get Chaos Ghost Dumb Ticks, which is for the Chaos Bosses. Um, XP Dungeon Ticks, 1.5. Or you can use to purchase like this monthly XP Keeper and the Ares Angel. What this is really is just a bonus um, that gives you 30, a uh, 50% bonus XP. So you can see mine is, hmm, why is mine showing it's expired already? That's weird. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, mine is expired. If I choose to renew this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need 666 bound diamonds. I'll definitely have that in a few minutes. But for now, just deal with deal with the natural XP bonus of the trial. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enable the um, the 1.5. 1.5s are okay to use. Um, Sometimes I have that on at eight hours, eight hours per per session. Um, the, it's the two hour ones that I really reserve for the XP dungeon, and when I go offline, when I'm purely just mobbing, because see, there's an offline mode to this game. Um, all right, where are we now? Gem gem system. Okay, for each gear you can equip a number of gems, depending on the uh, rarity and the uh, color. Of the gem, your VIP level. So as you can see, if you're VIP five, you have this extra slot here. Um, if you're great, and then it also depends on your grade. So you can to equip a total of eight, I think. Was was it eight? One, two, three, six gems, or five if you're free to play, or don't have um, VIP five unlocked. Again, not a not a game breaker the gem add-ons I don't know I've not been playing this game for you know long enough to oh wait hold on a second so it looks like I've officially run out of stuff to do um, so now I that kind of sucks because I just used my 1.5 but you know for the purposes of this video let's go ahead and just enter the I know I said like use the two uh, times two XB buff whenever you enter the dungeon let's go ahead and do that it's a waste of 1.5s but 1.5 xp rates are really easy to come by you can even i think you can even get that through other means aside from this the bound store or the glory shop so let's go back into the dungeon let's go to team dungeons let's go to xp and let's click on auto match and see quite easy now this is where you're gonna literally see a jolt in XP let's upgrade this so that we get a 25% damage boost notice how the XP bar here on the bottom is going to progress this is gonna fly by real fast so we started at 125 and this is the part where we can actually sit back and relax for four minutes maybe even discuss some of the f other systems that I missed um, while this goes 125 remember that number um, other systems there's this trading house that I wanted to show you well, this is where the part where you can actually earn pink diamonds and pink diamonds are like the these uh, non bound blue diamonds they're more valuable because they have a range of other applications that are not accessible to the bound diamonds um and some of that would be in the store primarily for these ones as long as you see an icon here that has a blue and a pink diamond that means you can use the blue diamond or the pink diamond to purchase stuff from this this area um you can't use the bound diamonds here common items as well so if you want to purchase gear keys uh bead hunt tickets ghost dumb tickets you can purchase them all from here. You can even double the amount of bound diamonds by purchasing the 100 bound diamonds here for 50 gems. But I haven't done that yet because I feel like 
there's literally more applications or it's useful the diamonds that you get which are blue or pink are more useful than bound diamonds um, never buy from the shop and always buy from at least this one from this shop the XP dungeon entry tickets I think you're only as a VIP non non uh, non VIP player you're you're really going to have it always going to have enough tickets to um, to spend without having to buy anything. So it has been 30 seconds, I think, and we're already te 10 levels higher. And we're about to run out of VIP trial time, but that's all right. Um, we've got this boost right here for the battle for the, you know, for the, two, uh, where is it? Yeah, for the XP buff. Anyway. All right. So yeah, th that buff doesn't affect the quest XP that you get. It just ex it really it really just takes into account the number of mobs, the mobs that you you kill. So yeah. And let's check out what we've unlocked so far. So we've got the partner system unlocked, the mount system unlocked, the marriage system unlocked, beat hunt, bead hunt skills uh, fusion and guild that actually goes all the way to the left over here once you start unlocking stuff other things in the server so those are what we've unlocked so far this is day one of the, the account so um, are the things that are accessible on a player level because of their progress I'm because of my level I'm 142 I have access to all these stuff um, more stuff is available as the account ages and as the server ages. So I think after 40 days, the server would have all everything unlocked, like the Ilum dungeon, um, the what was the other one? There's also the divine dungeon, which unlocks um, <clears throat> three other subcategories. Um, Edom Dungeon. What are the other? The League Invasion System. The and then there's one with a sh battleship mode, which I, the name kind of escapes me at the moment. Um, there's also shields. Um, the Aegis System. There's also there's quite a few things. So yeah you at the least you know you'll be playing this game for a month and s new stuff will consistently be pumped out by this by the game as you go along but on a daily basis this is one place that you want to keep on going back to because you get also you also get rewards the longer you're online and we're almost at an hour. I don't think I want to make this video longer than an hour. So at an hour, I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to upload a new video tomorrow. How does that sound? Right? So from 124 to 152. And we get two chances. Right? So here are the entry ticks. That you need so if you run out you just go over to the shop and buy buy some of those entry ticks but if, if as a non VIP player you can't purchase anything again this is for bound diamonds you can use bound. it will prioritize using bound diamonds since those are less valuable and once your 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 store for bound diamonds has been depleted then it starts using the premium diamonds um, yeah so at VIP one, you can purchase one additional thing, additional attempt. And here, um, the bead dungeon, we've already done that. The solo dungeon is the partner dungeon. And then the gold dungeon, which unlocks at level 200. Right. So again, let's go back. Now we've, since we've leveled up, we can kind of go back to doing some more stuff, main stuff. And I'm going to keep on going back here so yeah just try to go through these as you go along beads ah oh, there's the expedition now 
unlock this to get 60 B diamonds expedition fuel don't worry about running out of that because you can you always get like two eight hours I think it is by just doing the dailies right here oh ten hours so five hours for this one five hours so you always get ten hours um yeah just keep on doing things like this so daily likes that's pretty easy to do go ahead and click on the like button on the character here in the screen um, daily flower click on go now search for a friend that you well we don't have anybody right now <laughs> but we can add, always add somebody here just send it to one of your contacts um, arena yeah you can definitely do that boss hunts partner dungeon so these are all unlocked as far as I know you know you can access all of these right now if you wanted to um, the tricky part is getting into a guild that will accept you try to go into a guild that kind of that is on the top you know top three at least make sure it's an active guild and not a dummy guild that's just gonna waste your time Monday praying okay as a free to play player you can get two of these every day um, why do you want to do this is because you, there's a chance to get beads uh, not beads sorry the boss tickets which really are some things that you got one of the few things that you get locked out of if you're not a VIP for player I think and uh, by locked out I mean this part of the game right here it's not really that much of a big deal because it's really just two chances of getting into a boss fight getting the chance to get some gear every day you know that's that's basically it the only difference is that the boss the loot uh, the drop rate is you know has these bonuses it's two times higher than the normal uh, boss ruins you see how some of these don't have an, a rate up any um, icon enabled um, so yeah this is something that you're gonna get locked out of if you're not a VIP 4 player and if you don't have hunting tickets so the only way that I know of currently to get hunting tickets is through the Monday praying and the way they, they call it Monday praying because throughout the week you you'll need to get come here collect at least you're gonna be able to collect two the activity and the one for daily login and top up any out of the question since you won't be if you won't be topping up real cash so you'll at least get 14 of these and each attempt will give you a chance to win a boss ticket um, you can see like there's only one but if I click on change rewards I can configure this row Let's say I'm not interested in the in the bound diamonds, but I want a curio. Uh, I want to get a 1.5 um, bonus XP, and I don't have any wings, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this for the fuel. You know, things like that. You can also do that for the other levels. So if you select the second prize. I would not get rid of this if you are a free to play uh, player. These are all pretty good. Just leave it as is. First prize. Um, not really worth. I think this is much better. Yeah, these two. And then the, fir the confirm that. And then for the grand prize, this is uh, up to you.
you know, you can go, but I, on my paid account, I have it set to bead, bead draws, because a bead draw is a little bit more expensive, that's 38, right, so, go to bead hunt, and then go to the bead draw, so 9, 18, 37, so 36 is four, you know, 40 of these, or at least 36 tickets. And if we go to the shop, uh, let's just round it up to 40. So that's four, four times 150, that's 600 times 10. So that's 6,000 almost. And then you might you subtract the um, 500 or so, so that's 5,500 of value versus. Let's see, you know I didn't actually do the math on this before. Maybe, maybe it is better to just go go with this. Yeah. Hmm. I have to correct myself. All right. We are now at the point where we can switch classes. So we are at level 105. And it gives you access to better gear because you can't equip, I think you can't equip all of gear if you don't um, evolve or switch your class. The first, the first one is not really, yeah. There's, so see how it says unlock grade five and grade six, and then you can also be, you'll be able to equip this curio, um, the lost cube, if you are able to switch. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, it's actually already doing it. The first part is to defeat thirty coyotes, and again we can leave the game to do that. So right now it might seem a little bit boring, but trust me, as as you go along, let's go ahead and claim all these things. There's quite a few other good things here. So yeah, so now we've unlocked the costume for us. Let's get out of that. We're now at. Stage two, I think. No, I'm still at stage one. I think this is a nice place to actually leave. Once we complete this switch class. You also have this t change in your um, occupation. So you change from a cannoneer to a gunslinger. Um, the highest that I've seen is Switch 5. I think Switch 5 or Switch 4. So we're at Stage 2. This is really a no-brainer. At this point, you don't have to worry about anything. It gets a little bit more complicated. Um, as switches progress, uh, if you're familiar with Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy with the Aeon system, like you have to upgrade, um, what do you call this? Uh, upgrade like a constellation system. It was, you know, it, it, you know, we'll we'll cover that as as soon as we get access to it. But for now, just relax and play the game. You know, just get through these early levels. So this is one hour of gaming, and we're already at level 156. Um, when we get to a certain level, we won't be able to progress anymore uh, because we will need to switch yet again. And that will then uh, transition into the legend levels. So you'll now go back to one but you'll have a legend um level next to your le level number so this is legend 116 
111, so on and so forth. But yeah, this has been pretty smooth. We can click on go now. Oh, right. Well, this does take a while because it's a collection quest and you need to collect a certain number of loots, which is this one right here. And if you were a paying customer, you can always go for... I think that is also available at the shop, uh, at the trading house. Um, go to the trading market right here and go on switch items and there it is. People selling it for five real diamonds, mind you. So you don't really want to go here unless you, you're a paying player. You can also buy wings here. There's a Mecha Lotus available for us at level 40 for 300 gems. That's not, not a bad price, actually. All right, so what can we do here? I haven't showed how to enhance gear. So see how we've got 21. Uh, this is really confusing, really. Um, this means 54,000. So this is 1,000, 1,000. So this is 21 million, I guess. So if you click on a piece of gear, you can just click on Enhance over here, and then click on Auto. Now, do you enhance every, you know, one gear to a certain level, uh, like level 100, and then move on to the next? Yeah, you can do that if you have the funds. But what I like to do is I like to rotate um, because the higher the grade, graded material can go up to as high as 130 where you you're going to be spending a hundred thousand gold per per try i guess right now it doesn't matter because we're at low grades and we're hitting that max level but that's going to get higher and higher as the grade of um, gear become you know more higher t uh more higher higher tiers of gear become available to you Sorry, I just spaced out a little bit there. And this is going to end up a little bit more than an hour. Uh-oh. Problems here. So we are losing to this, which is part of the switch. Um, and the, the reason why we're losing is we haven't been actively using the things that the game has been throwing at us, like these things for upgrades. So let's see if we can make it in time. So I think we won't. <laughs> We can always keep on trying. So let's close and click on the stuff with the red dots. All right. Use all. We still have a mount to upload, uh, to upgrade. So it's adding quite a substantial amount of combat power here and it unlocked the next mount now don't worry about um, the upgrade this is universal this star star level so it doesn't matter if it's your upgrade which one is active this is now just um, cosmetic so whichever one you want to appear you just click on transmo uh, let's see, what do we have for benefits? We have some diamonds and some gems. Let's see if we can catch up. Um, bead hunt. Let's get that free draw out of the way. Oh, nice attack. All right. And that means that we can probably replace this one. Replace it with a violet one. 
right, we can dismantle. Just the you know, it's it's safe to dismantle things that it auto selects. Just don't if you're not sure about what to um what to select, then I'd say stay away from. All right, let's see if we can do some bit a bit of upgrading here. These are things that you can do in the middle of quest, you know, while you're killing mobs and all that stuff. Yeah, once you start getting grade 7, grade 8, so these are only grade 4 gear, so we're hitting the max. You might want to um, not leave this to, uh, to upgrade automatically, or else it's, you might find out, like, if you leave this, the, your, your, um, your device, you come back to just one 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 piece of gear using up all of your gold which is obviously less effective than what we're doing at the moment which is upgrading everything at the um, up to the same level so do it like upgrade all gears to level 10 to plus 10 and then do another round robin the next the next day upgrade all of them to 15 to 20 so on and so forth never um always trying to plan ahead so we've got a few gems that we can put in here which is a good thing all right great 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 okay what else can we upgrade i think we are done Let's get that out of the way. Wow, we finished a lot of subquests. Or gear that up. Ooh, nice. Get more experience. All right. So, let's go back here. Did we get anything new? What was the red dot there? Daily activity. All right, well, we can give it another shot. If not, we're going to end the video at this point, and then we're going to... I'm just going to have to record a new video after and upload that tomorrow. But I think reaching level 150 at this point, pretty good. Yikes. All right. So, yeah, like other games, this, this game has a telegraph system where... The bosses will telegraph to you whenever they want to do a special. And whenever it does that, just click on this rush icon over here. And you're just going to be able to dash out of the way. And I think that has something to do with us losing earlier. Because we didn't pay attention to that. Oh, oh, oh. there you go. Yeah, I knew it wasn't supposed to be this hard. Remember. We never, we didn't use this. All right, so we should be good at this point. And let's quit that. Complete, complete. The Oath of Switch, perfect. So we are now a gunslinger and we have access to the higher tier gears. Um, this one, which is not really something that's accessible easily. Um, so yeah, I'll end the video at this point because spent too much time already. I'm just going to stop it right here. And thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.